Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I joined the Washington 2x loot server and we're going to go from nothing to the most geared player in just 2 hours. We're going to PvP against the 3 man team and even going to do a base trade. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to drop a like let's aim for 300 likes. If we reach that goal I will upload more videos on the server. Also subscribe if you haven't already each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord which is in the description below and contact me from there. Today we're going to roll another one, which was kindly donated from a viewer named Frosta, which is a radioactive monocular. To have a chance to win this mythical, make sure to like, subscribe and comment whatever you want below. All channel members have a higher chance to win this mythical, and to become a member, the link is in the description below. But before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is the server we're going to play on today, which is the new Light Survival Project, which is a semi vanilla server with no building restrictions, meaning you can build sky and water bases. On the server, there are commands such as TPA, kits, and home. The stuff on the server are extremely friendly and they care about the players. The server focuses on not having any pay to win kits, only allowing balanced kits. I often play here for fun, so feel free to join on this IP and port and join their Discord, which is in the description below. And let's get straight into the video. Alright, so it's my first time on the server. I'm gonna make my graphics down a bit lower. Now, this server is Washington, it is two times loot, and apparently, like TPA and home, they are very, very long. So it's gonna be like a vanilla plus server more than anything. Now there is a kit which gives me Schofield and an axe and some some random items which is not too bad. Now I did spawn next to Scorpion 7 which I'm going to loot here. Maybe we'll get ourselves a Shadow Stalker, Viper which is pretty good, pretty good for starting out. Also on the server there's going to be Bullet Drop which is not really a thing that I play on but at least it'll be a bit challenging. Yeah, even if zombies hit you you'll start to bleed. Alright, that's good. It's not the usual high times loot servers that I play on. So getting actual loot might be a bit challenging. Alright, well, got myself a military knife, let's med up. Alright, full moon's over as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot here and then we'll go to the military tunnel that is very, very close. Hopefully we'll get ourselves some military weapons. Alright, we got ourselves a saber tooth, let's go. Military top as well, let's salvage that. And then afterwards we'll start running around going to military Seattle where probably all of the people will be at. Chemical, we'll take that. Right, let's hope for a Shadow Stalker, but no, there isn't. Alright, there's a couple of rails, but we need a Shadow Stalker for that. Oh, a Viper as well, let's go. It's a bit low dur durability, but that's fine. Let's salvage the axe. We'll take the Viper as well. Alright, so I looted the tunnel. I got myself a Spec Ops helmet. Rock explosive, let's go. Alright, next I'm gonna go to the helicopter crash site. Maybe over there, a Mega Zombie will spawn. If that does, then that's good. Oh, Heartbreaker, let's go. Uh, there's a Mega Zombie as well, by the way. Heartbreaker is actually perfect. I mean, we don't have that much ammo, but better than nothing. I'm gonna take this military box I had in my vault and just I'm gonna fill up the magazines. But first, I'm going to use the Schofield ammo to kill the Mega. I'm not going to use the Heartbreaker. I'm gonna use that just in case we run into players and need to PvP, which we, we probably will. I should have, hopefully, enough ammo to kill him, actually. A good thing about this area is that if I go a bit far away, he will turn back. So it'll be much easier to kill him. Yeah, he's stuck and he's gonna go back now. Oh, finally he's dead. Uh, he dropped Dragon Fang box and grenades. Alright, I mean, hey. Couple of Dragon Fang shots, bipod. I'll take the bipod actually right now. It's the most useful stuff that I could use, for now at least. Alright, so next I'm going to go to the farm. Maybe from there I will get myself a chainsaw. And then we'll start building a base. Because we're starting to get ourselves some, some semi-mid loot. Got ourselves another heartbreaker as well. I put that in vault instead of the saber tooth. Alright, so this dude actually dropped two chainsaws. Let's go. Right, I'm gonna build it somewhere around here. Pretty good area between Seattle and military base. Alright, let's start chopping down ourselves a bunch of trees. Alright, one by one base is done. Kind of, we still gotta do the door. And I need metal for that, I don't have any. Alright, so the base is pretty much done. I made myself a couple of wardrobes as well. Literally just two, but for now it's, it's enough. Something that I will need to get is a blowtorch. As always, we gotta make lockers. And I still need to get crafting three. So we still have, uh, we still have a lot to do. I mean, we barely have anything. Alright, so uh, time to go military. And Seattle and Heritage, all of those areas. Well, there is a guy in military. He's going up the tower at the back. I also have shots over at Seattle with Heartbreaker. Yeah, he's going up there right now. I don't know what he's doing, man. He was going up and down this whole time. Yeah, zombies are probably going to give me away, but I'm gonna push. Yeah, I hear him. Oh, yeah, he's right there. He's running away. Bro. Oh, damn, he almost killed me, actually. Right, he just has two guns, man. He doesn't have anything else. Oh, right, well, that was close. Yeah, some ammo. I'll take everything. We'll just salvage them. 
Oh, we got ourselves another heartbreaker though. Let's go. All right, so there are a couple of people in, in Heritage and uh, the only duo on the server, they have like support rank and bonus rank. So I don't really want to fight them yet. I would rather if I put everything that I have in my base and then I'll just come back with a gun and just try to kill them. Odds are I probably will die though because I don't know what kind of kids these guys have. But they, uh, they definitely bought tranks. Yeah, even if I kill them, I don't have any space. So, might as well, I, I just go home, which has a long cooldown, and then we will return. Alright, well, I came back, and they're not even here, man. Got myself some scopes. Alright, I'm back, and, uh, there's a guy right over there. Alright, he's dead. Suppressor for the win. I don't know where the other guy is. I'm gonna check what loot he has. Uh, okay, fully decked out Zubek with a drum. Alright, I heard steps inside. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, my guy didn't even realize I was pushing him. All right, let's kill the zombies. Now, I don't know if they have a base nearby or anything like that. Oh, yeah, they are actually having items, like metallic items. They are building a metal base. All right, let's wear thieves. Wear the black buckler as well. All right, the problem is I don't have that much space, man. So I might need to drop these. I'll take the chainsaw, though. It's very important. Now, let's check out what I might have left over here. Uh, I will take the high caliber ranger, though, for sure. All right, we'll take some ranger ammo since we got ourselves a Zubek as well. Dressing. Take the other peacemaker. It has better attachments. All right, and now let's home. Okay, so it's time to upgrade base. Make more storage because the two wardrobes that I had are full. At the same time, I'm getting XP. So I've also upgraded my base from a 1x1 to a 2x1. I'm gonna make a campfire in here. Just because it looks good. And I can make myself some torches, yeah. Put the campfire right outside. Take a couple of sticks. I never did this in like hundreds of hours to be honest. We got ourselves some torches. Let's go. We'll place one right over here. It's already terrain as well, which is quite annoying. Especially since it's dark. We can't actually see anything outside now. Hey, oh, finally a drum. That's really good, man. We could actually fill it up now. Oh, well, there are people back in there. What the hell are they doing in here, man? These guys must have a base very close or something like that. Yeah, well, I see his night vision on. Yeah, they they just placed a shutter. Oh, he's right here. One guy dead. Both dead. All right, kill them again. Let's go. Uh, he has an AUG. Okay, and a drum. A lot of metal. I would actually take that. I do need that. What I do need is a bigger backpack, though. This backpack barely fits anything, man. Alright, the second guy had a Peacemaker and a Zubek. I'll put the Ogun Vault. Let's kill the zombies as well. Alright, they didn't claim this bed. I'll take all of that metal, man. I do need it. They have uh, military clothing from Russia, which obviously I don't have access to those kits. Oh, there's somebody with a flashlight on in this building. Yeah, he's, uh, he's at the top. I don't know what he's doing. Hello. He's dead. Uh... Yeah, he only had the starter kit. Poor man. I actually kind of feel bad now. I'll take that glue, though. If I get a detonator, which is currently what I'm looking for. Then we can make some charges. Now, in terms of bases, I did find one next to where my base is. It's quite small. It's just a wooden base, two by two. I placed a shutter in there. There was an empty window, so that way if they finish the base, I could still enter. It's kind of genius tactics. But it wasn't fully finished, but there were still a couple of rooms, which you could still raid in. Okay, I'm back in base. Uh, did myself a pretty good route run. First of all, got myself a blowtorch, which now I made a couple of lockers as well. And I made myself a metal wall. That way, when I want to upgrade base, make it bigger, I will start building with metallic parts rather than wooden. I haven't even made a door for the for the airlock yet, so I should do that soon as well. Just in case someone's door camping me. So I've realized that all of this time I haven't even died once yet. And uh, yeah, the server isn't that populated right now. But we could attempt to do a zero deaths challenge. Oh, yo, easy pit W as well. We'll put that bad boy straight in vault. Well, there are... They're back. There's a guy there with Russia clothing once again. They're a team of three now, by the way. They're no longer a duo. Yeah, it's another guy there. I'm gonna try to kill them, obviously. The third guy that joined also does have a rank. Yeah, one of them's going up. I'm scared that they might have spotted me, actually. Oh, yeah, they are shooting at me with Peacemaker. Yeah, they, they definitely saw me. Yeah, he's right over there. Oh, he's so low, man. Yeah, there's a guy up there. He's trying to shoot me with a Peacemaker from far range. Okay. Come on, bro, peek. Oh, he's very low. I'm gonna try to reposition myself because they know exactly where I am. He's right there. He's so low, man. How is he not dying? The guy there. I can't see anything because of the grass. I headshot him once, though. Alright, one guy dead. Oh, another one bled out. Okay. Two down, then. Alright, let's push for the third dude. The cooldowns for TP and home are very, very high. They might not be able to make it back. I'm gonna push. I have absolutely no idea where he went, though. 
Oh yeah, he just reloaded something. Oh, he's right here. Hello. Oh, he all right, he's dead. All right, got him. All right, let's kill the zombies. There's a flamer in here as well. We gotta shoot him. He's dead. All right, let's check out what they had. This guy had. Uh... Wait, where even is his gun? I don't know where his gun went. All right, second dude, he died up here. He has uh, Heartbreaker, Raw Explosive, 7X, Rails, some wa Pine Wall. As for the third dude, I think this guy had the most loot. He has, there's lockers up here. A uh, bunch of med kits, Peacemaker. Okay, well, they didn't actually have that much loot, but on this kind of survey, this loot is quite normal. All right, well, we killed the three-man team. Let's go. Oh, at least back. Let's go. Finally, man. Oh, there's a guy. Why, hello there. Yo, what's up, bro? I'm not gonna kill him. You know what? I'm actually going to give him a backpack. There you go, bro. This is the only person I haven't killed on sight so long. Hopefully he's not gonna follow me, actually. Imagine he just whips out a gun out of nowhere. <laughs> but, but I'm just gonna run away. Yeah, he seems new at the game as well. So, I'll leave him with that. Hopefully later on I don't see him and accidentally kill him. So an airdrop is landing. I'm gonna go for that, definitely. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna land somewhere close as well. So it landed somewhere back there. There is a guy literally right there. I don't know what he's shooting at. I hit him once. Oh, he's running around like a maniac. Yeah, he was shooting at somebody, I think. So there might be another guy somewhere around here. Yeah, he's running away. I missed everything. Bro, he's gonna run away with all of the items from the airdrop, probably. And chase him down. I don't know what he was shooting at. He might have just been killing zombies for literally no reason. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's looting the airdrop. Oh, he's dead. Anything good? Oh, maple strike. Hey, yo. Crossbow, peacemakers. I got myself a maple strike. On Washington, that's actually kind of insane. It's literally the only way to get maple strikes on these kind of servers, man. Let's put some attachments. Get ourselves a drum as well. I put the wrong grip, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna shred everyone with this. Alright, there is a mega zombie finally. Please a detonator, bro. <laughs> or not. What? Did, what? High cal, Elise pack, grenade. I'll take those. Military barrel, though. Okay, that's the last attachment that I needed for my maple strike. Or anything important in here? I'm gonna go back to Heritage and see if that team is still there. Oh, I got shot. Oh, I see him. Bro, I might actually die. He's shooting me. Oh, it's about up. Yeah, I see him, man. It's just these zombies are gonna get in the way. <laughs> he's missing everything, thankfully. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He almost got me, actually. He got me off guard. Let's check out if he has any insane loot. I, I don't think so, though. I think he only had the Schofield kit. Anything good? Yuri. Yeah, yeah, the Yuri. I mean, he could have tried to push me and killed me with it rather than using a Schofield for far range. But we alive. Zero deaths till now. Let's go. I'm gonna go back. I don't know if they're here, actually. Well, there's loot on the floor. Yeah, I'm getting chased by a flamer as well. Let's go. Oh, yeah, here's stabs. They're in here. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. All dead. Alright, let's kill the zombie. Bro, die. There we go. Anything good? Uh, okay, well, I saw Zubak already. Yeah, Zubak, Yuri's. Yeah, just ranger weapons. Yeah, even more Zubaks. I mean, I will take them. I have Metamorous Magazine. A couple of shots. I'll take that for sure. Another one over here. Okay. They have a lot of meta metallic buildables, man. Oh, Metamorous. Oh, I'll take that. I didn't see that before. And we got ourselves our first raiding weapon. Let's go. I'm going back to base. Alright, uh, yeah, we are back. Let's go. Okay, so since I have a ranger box right here as well, maybe we can go give that base raid that I mentioned earlier a try. I don't know if we have enough. I don't know if there's base health or any of that on the server, but we'll give it a try. Let's go. Right, so this is the base that I talked about earlier. Now, I put that shutter just in case the owners do return and they finish the base, but look, it's completely sealed. I'm gonna raid through here. Okay, well, there is a crate with... Wow, okay. Alright, so I should have enough shots to raid the one at the bottom as well. Let's shoot this one down. Alright, let's refill. Get ourselves a couple more shots. Oh yeah, we're through. It looks like two beds and a wardrobe with just Heartbreaker and Okay, okay well, this base raid sucked. There's absolutely nothing in there, man. Well, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys do want to see more on the server, and maybe we can even do it as a series, let me know in the comment section below. We did pretty much do a nice Rex riches. We got pretty much everything that we wanted. Got ourselves into a ton of PvP and even did a no-death challenge. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!